Coaches, Mike Kuchar at xnolabs.com. We're going to show you a clip here out of Coach Noel Mazzone, the offensive coordinator at Texas A&M. We thank him for contributing to our 20 personnel run RPO special report. What you're going to look at here is a, a basically two high alignment against 20 personnel. I know it's a three down front that's being shown by South Carolina here, but regardless of what you're getting in terms of the front, when you come out in these 20 personnel groupings, a lot of times the decision has to be made on how to play that slot receiver up top of the screen, and that decision lies or falls on the Sam linebacker or the nickel linebacker in these structures. And in Coach Mazzone's Dino formation, which is a two-by-two -two formation here, he is going to put the wing or the Y, as he calls it, on the bottom of the formation here towards the boundary. All the quarterback's doing in this RPO is checking the leverage of the Sam or nickel. And very simply speaking, if the if he has leverage, or if the apex, or if that defender is apex from that number two receiver, the quarterback's just going to catch it. and He's going to throw it. Almost becomes a trash or token fake to the back. There's no pure read in that at all. He's just going to take the ball, get it out there, and take the yardage while he can. There is another option built into the play as well. Okay, with the post snap glance, which we'll get into in a second here, which is dynamic against 20 personnel. This is just another option for the quarterback. But he's just going to take the ball here, as you see in this clip, token fake it, and get it out there and get the yards while he can. So this is a pre-snap RPO based on PSL or pre-snap leverage. Okay, some coaches call it a gift. And Coach Mazzone's system out of 20 personnel grouping, it really puts a strain on that Sam linebacker to the field on how he's going to cover that number two receiver. We'll get into the other option on another video.